In this video, we're going to unbox and set up a WiseCam. For setup, you'll need three things. You'll need the WiseCam, a smartphone or tablet, and a Wi-Fi connection. Let's start with your smartphone. Head over to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and download the Wise app. If you search for Wise or WiseCam, it should pop right up. We also have a link in the description of this video to take you straight there. And while that's downloading, let's unbox the camera. So inside the box here, we have a quick start guide. We have another little box here that has the USB cord, a metal plate, an adhesive, the wall plug for the USB cord, and of course, you have the WiseCam. Take WiseCam out of this protective plastic and then plug it in. There's an LED light on the back of the device that's going to be a solid yellow at first. But after you plug WiseCam in, this light turns into a flashing yellow light to let you know that WiseCam is ready for setup. While you're waiting for the WiseCam to be ready for setup, let's go back to your phone, pull up the Wise app, and log in. You'll need to create a Wise account if you don't already have one. Hit setup, enter an email and password, tap next, at which point it will send a verification code to your email. Now this works just like every other online account set up. Hop over to your email, grab the code, and then come back to the Wise app to verify your account. Now that you're logged in, you'll see a large plus sign in the middle of the screen. Press that to be taken into the device setup screen. By now your camera should be ready to set up. When it's ready for setup, turn the Wise Cam over and press this button right here. Ready to connect. Your camera should be saying ready to connect. If you hear this, then hit this button. Now you'll put in your Wi-Fi information. Ready to connect. Just a quick side note. WiseCam only works on a 2.4 gigahertz network, not a 5 gigahertz network. The good news is if you have a Wi-Fi connection, you definitely have a 2.4 gigahertz network because every router comes with one. However, if you've got a dual band router, you might also see a 5 gigahertz network in your list of Wi-Fi options. Just make sure you are definitely connected to the 2.4 network before setting up WiseCam. Once you've entered in information for a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, tap this button to get a QR code. Now it's time to scan the QR code with the camera. Hold your phone steady about five inches away from the lens of the WiseCam. It should scan the QR code within a matter of seconds. Now, if it doesn't scan right away, slightly adjust the distance between your phone and WiseCam and hold it steady for a few seconds while WiseCam adjusts to the lighting of your screen. If it still doesn't scan, keep trying to adjust the distance, but make sure you hold it steady in each place for a few seconds so that the WiseCam can adjust and focus on the QR code. If it still won't scan, try tilting the screen around to make sure there are no light reflections that are blocking out the QR code. LED lights in particular can cause reflections that block the phone screen from the WiseCam. When it does scan, you'll hear it say, QR code scanned, please wait. QR code scanned. At that please point, wait. you just press this button and WiseCam will finish the setup process on its own. The LED light indicator on the back will start flashing yellow and blue then flash blue, and when setup is complete, it turns to a solid blue and says setup completed. Setup completed. Now, just name your camera, hit start, and you're good to go. If you followed all these steps and you're still having issues setting up your camera, please check our common setup issues video. There's a link to that video in the description below. Or, of course, you can send an email to our excellent support team, support at wisecam.com, and we'll help you get up and running as soon as possible. You can also contact us through pretty much any social media channel that you're comfortable with and we'll respond there. Links to our official social media channels are found in the description of this video. Now you're ready to place your camera. You can stand it upright, you can stick it to something metal because it's magnetic, or if that's not possible, you can use the included red adhesive and metal plate to mount it to a wall. You just remove the adhesive, place it on the metal, remove the other side, then stick the metal plate to a flat surface, and now the Wise Cam will attach to it magnetically. Your camera is now set up. After you log in on your app, you're automatically taken to the Devices tab, which looks like this. You can add more Wise Cams to your list by pressing on the small plus sign in the corner. You can change the name of your camera by tapping here. 
You can share your Wise Cam here, and of course, tap this image of the Wise Cam to see the live stream. We'll talk about all of those features later on, but in the next video, we're going to take a deep dive into the live stream. So we will catch you over there in the next video. We'll see you.